Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Nur Ayuni Benti Muhammad Asri And I'm from 801101B So today I would like to present about pest control in oil palm plantation So here are the topic to be covered today The first one is production of oil palm And the second one is pest control in oil palm The third one is methods of controlling pests, and the last one is conclusion. So I would like to introduce you what is oil palm. As an introduction, oil palm is a tree in the palm family with the scientific name Elis guineensis that comes from Africa. Oil palm is grown extensively as a source of oil in Malaysia. Next, I would like to talk about a pest control in oil palm. The definition of pest is a plant or animal detrimental to humans or human concerns as agriculture or livestock production. It can be divided as a mammalia pest, bird pest, mollusk pest, insect pest, and mite pest. Next, The function of pest control is it provides protection from harmful insects that can cause public health issues and costly damage to property. This is the common pest of oil palm. They have a bugworm, rhinoceros beetle, rodents, pathogens, and weeds. So based on the picture that I have added, The suitable method to control pests in oil palm is through chemical control as herbicides, pesticides, and other chemicals are often toxic to humans, animals, and palms. So it should be used sparingly and carefully. So I would like to discuss about chemical control in oil palm plantation. First thing first, pests are controlled by using chemical pesticides. A pesticide is a chemical used to control pests. Do you know the major example? Um, it has two major examples included in oil palm. Uh, first, herbicides to control weeds and rodenticides to control rodent. So the next topic, I will talk about herbicides to control weeds. So they have a lot of equipments in these methods like rubber gloves, boots, mouth cover, safety glasses, and rubber opium. Next slide. It is spraying herbicides process. So, first, herbicides can be sold as liquids or as powder. Liquid herbicides are often mixed at 0.5 or 2%, which means 5 or 20 ml per liter of water. Make sure to always prepare herbicide solution according to the instructions on the package. Before getting started, make sure that the sprayer is properly calibrated. So based on the slide given, they have seven steps of using these methods. I would like to talk about common herbicides in oil palm. Herbicides are often divided into two groups, which is contact herbicides and systemic herbicides. Contact herbicides are toxic to the plant where they touch it. Well, the most well-known contact herbicides is Paraguay. Systematic herbicides move into the plant and are transported to the stem, roots, and other leaves. They have a lot of advantages of chemical control. First, chemical control saves leaves and improves the quality of life. Second, chemical control contributes to reducing the contamination of the biosphere, biota, air, soil, and water, and keeps this natural resource available for use by current and future generation. Chemical control also leads to the development of several products, uses production methods and technologies. And the last one, chemical control supports good condition for industry and trade. Putting in the nutshell, natural pesticides are less harmful to human beings and much more effective against pests. However, pest control using chemical methods in oil palm is the easy wish They can be applied effectively, availability, and stability. Hence, chemical pesticides are generally fast-acting, which limits the damage done to food.